there has to be one question. <laughs> Director Lyons, you mentioned some of the renovations, and obviously a lot of them haven't even been started yet. Do you want to put your own stamp on some of those, or are you just sort of go through with what is already planned? Well, I think I'll look at it. You know, again, I, don't, I, I have trust in the people that are here. The changes that are being made are, are the right changes. And again, you know, I'll, I'll review those with the appropriate staff and, and look to see if, if I think we're going in the right direction. I did have the, the ability to look at the baseball facility when I was here. What a great looking facility, even though it was rainy last week. But, you know, there's a lot of things like that that I'll continue looking at. But, you know, I think the staff here has done a great job and we're heading in the right direction. mentioned some of the national level challenges over there with the tournaments, the Power Five Conference, NCAA things. Do you have a perspective on what balance of that's going to take your time, how much those level issues versus running the department, the West Virginia aspect of it? Yeah, there's definitely going to be, it's a great question, there's going to definitely be a balance. You know, I think those sweeping changes you're going to have to be on top of because how it's going to impact collegiate model we know it today so it's it's definitely going to be a balance of understanding that obviously working through the big 12 office and commissioner bowlsby and understanding those issues um you know i can't take away from the university we have great people working for us here but at the same time as being able to manage what's happening here on this campus but also looking at what changes could impact the department is, is def something definitely i have to, to balance for sure what are the challenges of working with the size budget that you have here versus obviously the bigger one that you have in Alabama? I'm sorry, say it one more time. What are the challenges you have working with the budget here as opposed to obviously Alabama has a much bigger budget? I think there's, no matter where you're at, there's challenges with the budget. Um, Alabama's budget is much, much, uh, much larger, but at the same time, it's you do with what you have with the resources that you have. So we'll look at it. We're going to balance it. Um, I think our budget is pretty consistent from what I've seen from probably the, the majority of NCAA Power Five conferences. You have some schools out there as in Alabama and Ohio State, uh, Texas, which has you know very, very large, large budgets. But I think what budget we have, I think we have a lot to work with and we'll be able to look at those resources to be able to go back to our coaches, to our student athletes, and be successful with that. You said the fan support has been overwhelming since uh, you got the bid. If you can paint a picture for us, what does that look like? Is that your email inbox flooded? Is that people stopping you in the store? What, what does that look like for you? Well, it's it's it's, it's definitely the emails, the text messages, and then that's that's from some fans I don't know. That's obviously from colleagues I've known you know throughout the the uh, collegiate uh, my collegiate career. So those are come from all different type of sources and. You know, especially those who, you know, again, I mentioned earlier that have had an impact in my, my career over the years. You know, even though you leave jobs, you leave different places, you don't leave those friendships and, and those professional uh, people that you can go back and get advice from. So, you know, I'll, I'll continue leaning on those individuals, and it's great to have them as, as a, a, a possible crutch out there if you ever get into a situation to, to be able to help me help this department. In that vein, what discussions, if any, have you had with Oliver about the direction of the athletic department? Maybe things he had in motion that would, you know, you want to keep keep doing. Yeah, our, our discussions have been very brief when I when we first talked to him about it. But I think he painted a a good picture for me of where this department is heading and what he's done in his time here. Obviously, that's one of the things that's been very appealing to come here: the work that's been done and how I can continue to build on that foundation. So, you know, I applaud him for what he's done here and and wish him the best in his career. Jing, is there anything that glaring that you worked on or, or with in Alabama that you see here that you want to implement? Is there any one thing that maybe jumps out at you? You know, I, I think the biggest thing, Mitch, is making sure, you know, our facilities and, and our competition and practice facilities, and that's something very big and obviously also Making sure from the academic side that our student athletes are successful, you know, outside of the uh, or inside the classroom, and making sure that from our academic services area that we have the resources there to make sure that they have uh, the ability to be be successful. But you know, I think that I've been given the opportunity at Alabama with some of the things they've done with their facilities and fundraising different things to upgrade those things, and I look forward to bringing that here. And you come from a 
from Alabama where the culture is a football culture, <coughs> unlike maybe anywhere else. What is the difference between that and here, and how can you take what you discovered there and, and move it here? Well, again, I think it, it's a matter of coming back and, and supporting your programs and understanding the, you know, what it takes to try to build that program and, and facilities and recruiting. Um, it's a, it's, you know, it's all about teamwork, and that's the collaboration that I want. Is, you know, in that in the recruiting process, it's just not your football, your basketball. It's the entire department, and how do we help recruit those young men and young ladies to be successful? And I think that's what they have at Alabama. That everybody's working together in that teamwork and that collaboration. I think I can bring that here as well and, and make us continue to build what we have and, and be, be successful.